Hello everyone, William at Alliance Concrete Pumps. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we're gonna be reviewing the accumulator uh, pressure. So this unit has a six liter accumulator bottle located right here. In front of that, there's a accumulator pressure gauge. So this gauge shows currently the hydraulic pressure on the circuit, it's operational. So we're gonna show you guys how to check the actual pressure of the nitrogen in here. So to do that, we're gonna use the manual dump valve here. There's a screen handle dump valve. We're gonna open that, we're gonna watch the gauge. As the gauge pressure drops, there's gonna be a speed change in the pressure gauge. So you're gonna look for that. So what I do, is you just take this and crack it. You can hear the, the pressure draining. We're gonna, just gonna continue to open it as the pressure drops. Pressure's gonna drop keep dropping and then it's gonna go fast. So I know that this pressure is slightly low on this unit. It's only about 60, 65 bar. So then you can you can give an informed uh, notification to your mechanic or you can hook up your actual pressure gauge, check the pressure, top it up if needed, or if it's too low, you might have to rebuild the accumulator. Now that we've topped off the accumulator with nitrogen to 100 bar, we can check the pressure again via hydraulics. We've checked it with the gauge, but we'll just double check with the hydraulics. Pulling the valve again. So we're gonna drop off both the 95 to 100 bar mark. That's where we wanna be. Close this back up. Pressure comes back up to 210 on this unit. Yeah, the charge pressure on this is now at uh, 100 bar. So. We're good to go. Back to pumping concrete. 